Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to concatenate two data frames. For this video, I imported pandas here as pd. And here are the list I'm going to use for this video. For first one, I'm going to use two lists, list1 and list2 as a data frame here. So shift enter here, let's briefly look how the data frame 1 looks like. So it has three rows. John, Nate, Fred, and how about the DF2 here? We have the Ed, Jack, and Ted. Looks like we have the same column name, name, and job. So firstly, let's concatenate these two data frames. So let's have from the 0, 1, 2, and 3 with Ed, 4 with Jack, and 5 as Ted. For this one, there are two tricks. First one, I'm going to use pd.concat. So the data frame, you, we want to put these two data frame in one same list, like um, let's say L3, oh uh, no, list is something uh, df1 and df2. So this is the df list, I'm going to say this is the df list. Let's put these two data frames in one list and we just run like result is pd.concat concat and add this df.list and that's all. And see the result here, result. Then you can see John, Nate, Fred, Ed, Jack, Ted, but index looks like something wrong. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So if we want to have index from 0 to 6 here, Let's add one more thing here. Let's say ignore, ignore index is true. And result now have the 0 to 5. Okay, there's another way to do the same thing actually. So I'm going to refresh this one. So now df1 and the df2 has the John, Nate, Fred and add Jack, Ted now again. So let me use another function here. Let me call the uh, df. Uh, the f1 dot append that means I want to append the f2 in the df1 so the f2 here and say enter here but let's put this one in the result again result is going to be this one so let's print out this result result shift enter you can see the result is same and if we want to have the index sequential order here just put here ignore index is true and shift enter, shift enter. Then you can see from 0 to 5, we concatenated two data frame here in one data frame. Okay, that's all. So let me concatenate uh, in different ways. So previously we concatenate from uh, 0 to 6 like the we added the second data frame into the row. But what if we want to concatenate, concatenate uh, in the same row but different column. For example, here we have the L3 and L4. So let me make a data frame here with uh, uh, this L3 and L4. So let me create a data frame with uh, the data frame with L3 and L4. L3 and L4 and uh, here had a uh, name, job, age, country. So name, job, age, country. And now if you see the DF1, it has a name and job and the DF2 has a AG and count, uh, country here. So what if you want to concatenate these the two things uh, in the same row? So John teacher and John's AG is 25 and the country is US. In this case, uh, you can use the PD.concatenation but different axis. So let me give you the example here. Result is going to PD.concatenate. And the same thing, we can put the F1 and the F2, but in the axis 1, because now we want to add this one to the column, not the row. So it's axis 1. And say ignore uh, index as true. So let's check it out. Let's check this result now. Then you can see now John, teacher, 25 US, Nate, student, uh, 30 UK, as you can see here. Okay, we successfully made this one. DF2 now is the, the another column in the DF1. Okay, uh, here's kind of the another one. So 
I'm going to concatenate list now, not the data frame, but you may need this one. So let's say you are a data scientist and uh, you probably want to compare the real value with the prediction value. And these values are normally in the list if, if we are using the second line, right? So let me give you an example. Let's say you are working on some kind of machine learning and uh, the real label was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the uh, prediction value was something wrong, right? 1, 2, 2. Five, five. Okay, this was the prediction. Uh, let's say you want to compare uh, each value uh, in the same row. Then you can do something like comparison. Uh, this variable has the PD data frame, data frame, and in this data frame, I want to add kind of a label as the this label and the prediction uh, with the prediction, prediction. Okay, here. All right. And then let's take a look at this one, play comparison. So here we have the data frame and you can see uh, each value side by side. So you can see, okay, the number three actually went wrong and the uh, number four also went wrong. So in this case, uh, if we have the values in the list, uh, you can put this in the data frame side by side and it will help you to verify which value went wrong, which value went right. Okay, this is it for today and Whenever you want to practice yourself, you can go to my GitHub website here and it will help you to practice yourself in the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.